Yo, what's good with them? Welcome back to Dope Mob TV, man. And before we get started, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and we're going to look at Hassan Campbell going to it on J Prince. Let's go. So basically what you're telling to brothers and sisters in Atlanta, what you're saying to them is, we know we hit him in the head with the head shot. Hit him in the leg with the leg shot. Yeah, we know we pushed this way back. All right, all right. But let's calm this down before it get ugly. J Prince, who you think you talking to? Who do you think you talking to? Yeah, we're going to calm this down after the body dropped. I'm going to speak now. I took my time speaking because I didn't know what to say. But it's false narratives being put out there. Like, I'm listen, let me tell y'all something, right? I'm not the dude that's going to sit up there and play the videos piece by piece like these other platforms is doing. There's some things in me that, like, I, I, I understand what I'm doing. But I just can't play certain things. I'm sorry. Certain evidence, but we all seen it. And if you didn't see it, it's up there on the internet. The way your son stepped over that man's body, there was a girl over offset, over, over, over takeoff's body. The girl was over takeoff's body. She said in the video, if you listen, she said, what should I do? Somebody from your camp said, get the fuck over there. Like, get away from that nigga. Leave him there. Left him there like he was worth nothing. Worth nothing. He checked in like the Roach Motel, but he didn't check out. Who he checked into you? You, soldier boy, Jay Prince. He checked into your family. Under your care, custody, and control. Whether it was a basketball game, a, a, a dice game, he was antagonized. You hear in the video him saying, yo, I'm out. I'm out. He didn't get a chance to leave. Them guns was pulled on both sides. Or maybe not. We're not too sure about that. But we do understand that regardless of what, the opposition was you, J Prince. Your son was the opposition. And because of that, Takeoff will never make it home to his family again. His plane was landed. He got his snot box rocked. And now you want to sit up there and say, let's just take the positive route. It's too late. How that song go? It's too late to apologize. Nigga, it's too late. Now the world gets to see you and your family for what y'all really is. Dirty. Grimy. Dirty. All that power for what? It's safe to say it ain't safe outside. And it's safe to say that all these celebrities that go out there and bow down to you, they ain't safe around y'all neither. You look at them like clowns. And this is a lesson to be learned, man. Take off, all set. Like dudes like that, when you winning, when you winning and dudes used to get that old money, and they ain't really getting that new money like that, you think they ain't envious? They looking at dudes like Takeoff. Takeoff ain't no get busy dude. The Migos ain't get busy dudes. They're rappers. And you got gangsters looking at these rappers like, look at how these dudes eating. You amongst wolves that don't even understand how you got the plate and they ain't got the plate no more. I see this every day. Niggas is mad because Oz got the plate and they ain't got it no more. So I got to pay attention to my circle before they, yeah. It's those conversations in the dark. And in this case right here, if it wasn't an industry sacrifice, it was envy. Either way, you got to look at it for what it is. That man ain't make it home. J. Prince, your son made it home to you, right? He get to kiss his kids, right? He wasn't man enough to defuse that situation. They checked into your hotel and didn't make it out. That's the bottom line to that. And all you suckers that liked his post, if it wasn't for the footage circulating on this internet, we wouldn't know what happened to take off. People would have been asking questions. It's clear. The only thing we don't know and we not sure of is who bullet hit take off, but we know he was hit twice. And we know his entourage, he wasn't the only one in his entourage that was hit. So it's safe to say that it was an exchange over a dice game, over a basketball game, 
over gambling. You dudes were supposed to be the dudes that protected them. Mob time. 